what's up what's up it is Mira. it is shira it is vira it is scorpion red tarot and i am back at it again back back at it again baby shout out to all my og shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of my babies for like sharing subscribing and clicking this video this is the word around town collective reading you guys i have purchased a whole bunch of new decks you know i said i was going to come back i was coming back to you guys but i needed some new flavor like a lifesaver y'all i got tired of my old decks i needed some new energy on here so i could feel fresh and free you know zestfully clean i need to feel zestfully clean okay so we're about to get into this energy um we're going to find out what the word around town is and um Everybody, I want to uh, quickly, before we get into this reading, you know, I always want to give thanks and recognition to God. So let's just, you know, bow our heads real quick and just say thank you to Jesus. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here. Thank you so much for collectively gathering us. We're here today to have a little bit of fun, find out what the tea is on the street, what the word is around town, so we could just be prepared and just, you know, be knowledgeable about what's going on around us. Father God, we thank you so much for making us so strong. We thank you so much for making these blessings last so long father god we thank you so much for um you know giving us the strength to climb this mountaintop because it's not lonely at the top it's a lot of blessed people up here we'd be partying we'd be turning up and we'd be keeping it going father god when it comes to this coin when it comes to this happiness when it comes to the celebration oh at the top it's not lonely baby we keep it going and we have a wonderful time <laughs> but it takes a lot of tests and trials and tribulation to get up here you know so father god we all the way up here we enjoying we relaxing we in good company we just trying to find out you know what the tea is you know we like to get messy every now and then so <laughs> we want to find out what people you know let's give them something to talk about father god we want to find out what they're saying out here in the street what's the words in the street for us father god so father god thank you so much for healing us thank you so much for revealing so much to us thank you so much for moving us and thank you so much for grooving us in the right dimension and the right stratosphere father god please give us the guidance we need to receive today in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen let's get into this energy you guys so let's find out what the t ye ye with me ye ye what's the word around town what's the word around town julie brown let's find out what the word around town is with the collective what's been going on with you guys in love what's the word around town what's been going on with y'all in love give me one card please let's see we got the explore card, okay? Mm hmm We out here. We sliding and guiding and providing people a good time. You know, we a blast in the glass. You know, people like to be around us. <laughs> All right? You being invited to go out. You exploring different places that you ain't never been to before. You've been enjoying yourself. So we got the explore card. It says, take a ride and explore new sceneries or each other's inner thoughts. So, for the people that are single, the word around town is that people think that you are going out on dates. That you're meeting new people. That you are talking to new individuals. That people are taking you out and spending a little cute coin on you. And you know, hmm. I don't know. Might be some people that's a little bit jealous. Hmm. Let's see. What's the word around town? I see how you got them hater blockers on. I see with those glasses on, like you are keeping everything on a hush hush. You're not you're not putting people in your business. I feel like it's not about anything being secret or secretive. You just don't be knowing who be hating on you sometimes. You know, some some people are not really happy for your blessings. There are a lot of people that have things that they think that you want. And they like to flaunt it in your face. But the whole time, they're not that secure and happy with it as you think that they are. But when you be going out, the people that you be meeting, you really be happy. 
these people really genuinely fuck with you. They really love you. You know? I'm so sorry. I don't know why, like, my um, speech is so... Oh, I'm getting so tongue-tied today. We got the idol card. I'm trying to tell you. People really look up to you more than you think. Even your biggest haters are your biggest fans. Like, you do it better. You just do it better. Like... The things that they post online, they make it seem like they're in a happy relationship, that they be traveling, that they be going out the whole time when they be on them vacations, they be arguing with each other. Whole time back at the ranch, they be fighting with each other or they be cheating on each other. It's not genuine. But when you step out there, when you actually put yourself out there, you attract people that are really, really genuinely all about you. And it's hard for other people to do that. People really, really admire you. You are idle. Oh, God. <laughs> so we got the obsessive lover. Good gracious. We got the ego. And we got the wasting time. So there's somebody that you're not allowing to waste your time anymore. You've definitely stepped out. You're exploring new people, exploring new faces, new places. Okay. You're reloaded. <laughs> you're feeling very confident in yourself. You're very self-involved. You're worried about your self-happiness. The only reason why you're around these people is because they're providing happiness to you right now. And if they was to make the mistake, to play in your face like anybody from your past or anybody who ever thought that they could play in your face. They'll be in the same situation as these motherfuckers sitting right here talking this shit. Okay? <laughs> Do you understand? So as long as they keep everything cool, we can continue to be happy. But baby, let them make a false step and they'll be right down here idolizing you from the sideline just like these motherfuckers is. Okay? There's somebody in their ego. They in their ego like Steve up. Okay, they is in their ego like Steve up. You applied too much pressure to this person. You really did. You showed them what the fuck it was and what it was not. <laughs> Y'all, you say you ain't about to waste my time, honey. Show me the money. You is not about to waste my time, honey. I can guarantee you that. You have to go and get with it or get lost. It says hurt ego. Ego getting in the way of a relationship. So there's someone that's not talking to you right now. Simply because you're not talking to them. Simply because they see that you've moved on. Simply because you're not bothered. You're not pressed to impress. Baby, I wish I would. I wish I would. <laughs> there's too many people on my line y'all um, there's somebody that is idolizing you right now their ego is hurt and they're obsessing over you right now especially you guys if you guys are posting anything I will be very careful about posting anything online about anything that you're doing with anybody don't be posting no uh, pictures of you going out on dates on vacations and stuff because I not for nothing I slightly do feel like you could be putting that other person in danger because this person that's in that lower ego right there they're very upset with you because you cut them out and you moved on and you are unfuckwittable you really don't give a fuck about them and the more that they stay away from you and you block them out the more successful that you're becoming the more that they want to be around you, the more they realize that they were getting out of control because they were wasting your time, baby. <laughs> Anytime that you step out of the way and motherfuckers glow up like this, show up like this, oh, you know that you was the problem. So someone letting their ego get to them, 
because they don't deserve to be around you no more. I'm just letting you know. Just be careful. Keep your business and your happiness to yourself. Because there's some people that just can't stand to be around you too because when you step into the arena of being single, mingling, and attracting the best suitor to you, like I told you, you it, it, it's something about you. You select a different quality than the than some of the people around you. There are some people around you that are truly not your friends. There are some friends around you that are obsessing about you. Because I really don't like it. But you know what? I said we're going to get into the tea. This is what we're going to do. So I'm going to read it the way I'm, I got to read it. There are some friends that. They are so codependent on you. It's like when you. Fall in love. And you really get around a real healthy. Relationship. That shit triggers them. And they feel like. Someone is going to try to take advantage of you. This person is going to try to hurt you. That they need to protect you. They need to get you away from these people. Like these people are like. Again egomaniacs. Because. As a friend. You should be a friend. And you should not feel. Because someone is in a relationship. And they found like someone that really loves them and that is because it's something about the person that you're with that really likes to spend a lot of time with you that's taking you out places that you are coming around talking about things that you've never talked about before and I feel like people are turning up their faces like what when you start like doing that when you start doing that I thought you were scared of heights I thought you was well yeah we went to this and da 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 and and people are like giving you the side eye turning their face up at you but you're supposed to date and be with somebody different like me I'm very much so a, a homebody I would need to date somebody that likes to be outside and likes to explore and like I, I need someone to pull me out of my shell so with something here about you dating a complete opposite as well like I said, take a ride and explore new sceneries or each other's inner thoughts. It may not be something that you normally would do. It may be his interest or it may be her interest. But you might have never experienced that if you have never met this person and y'all would have never tried to create together. And I like how you got these glasses on because it's showing me that y'all are shielded. Y'all got these hater blockers on and y'all not really worried about other people. Like at all. Alright, so let me see what else. Dude, what else is going on? What else is the word of around town? Compl I told you. I told you. I told you. Clock cock blocking. Curious about you. I told you. So there is somebody that is in your stratosphere, my dear, that is curious about you. I don't even think that you guys know each other yet. I feel like this reading is more of a warning than anything. As soon as you start to get out there and start doing things that you normally wouldn't do with this new person that you're curious about. I feel like you've been staying up all night talking to this person. Like you could have a friend or a relative or I don't know, maybe an old lover like situationship type of thing or whatever I really don't think you do situationships so this is giving me like a friend or a relative or something like that you might end up spending a whole bunch of time on the phone talking to this person that you're curious about and everything and again as soon as you start to fall into your happiness a little bit and they see that this person is really some pressure for you like yeah like you got to understand for someone to inspire you to step out of your box, that got to be a cold motherfucker. And this person supports you. Super fans, super support you. Ever since this person came around, it seems like everything that you've been doing 
has been like exploding like things have been just taking off like more blessings have been gravitating to you because you're happier and you got more to talk about you have new experiences so like I said through these new experiences you're meeting new people like I, I just I don't know why I just feel like there's a lot of people that could possibly be jealous of you and your happiness so I want you guys to pay attention to this because I don't think that this is coming out for no reason because again it's like a hurt ego because it's not happening to them or the man or the woman that they got they settled and they putting up for some toxic bullshit for real like yeah they got a man or they got a woman at home but it's not satisfying it's not what you got next to you and that shit can make them hate you a little bit so again just like pay attention unhealthy possessiveness it's like a friend that kind of Want you all to their self. Like if you're not going through the same type of toxic bullshit that they're going through. Where y'all have a level of connectivity. Where y'all have something to vent to each other about. Because it's like when you come around talking about all the tappy shit. Like oh my man. um, We went here. We, like they went here all that shit. They man ain't doing that shit for them. They not. What's this card over here? Caught a case. Ooh, sexual infection, sexual disease, rash, etc. Woo! God damn it! Oh my god! <laughs> Please get the fuck out of here with that. You guys, if there's somebody that had hit that dumb, caught some bullshit. They got some damn STD infection or something like that. Because they carry their ass on out there in the streets. And you don't cut them out. Because you were wasting their time. And you don't went on about your business. And you happy as a motherfucker now. And these bitches stuck in their ego. And they can't help but idolize you. <laughs> and hate from the sidelines. And be curious what you're doing. Yo, these motherfuckers is itchy and scratchy. The Itchy and Scratchy Show. Young. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Or, if this is a friend, family, or colleague of you, did you know that they have an STD? You know that they have an STD? Like some herpes or some shit? Some shit that ain't going away? Type of shit? Type shit? Okay? 21, 21. Type shit? <laughs> this could be the hater. This could be the hater. No crusader. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> oh, y'all, let me take a shot off of that shit. God damn. Mm -mm. Why are these people cock blocking? Give me one card for this cock blocking. Why are these people cock blocking, please? Why are these people cock blocking? Ooh, the strength in reverse. They're cock blocking because they don't have the strength that you do. It's like they give in to their temptations and other people's manipulation. They're not as strong as you are. Every time that they know it's something that they shouldn't do and they really shouldn't talk to and they shouldn't give in, they still do this shit anyway. And they feel like they're trapped and they're victimized in some situation or whatever. And they think that it's like they want to look better than you, but they can't because they can't get over their addictions. Addictions could be people. It could just be toxic behavior. It could be um, a lot of things. It could be an eating disorder. It could be them just having negative thinking and low self-belief about their self there are certain people that just don't really love their self they really think negatively about their self they can struggle with that and you're just very highly confident that's why you attract a lot of things to you this person 
is cop blocking and they have issues with you or just want to keep you close to where they are is because I just heard they don't want to see you without them and it's like the more that you grow the more that you highlight to them just how weak they are how much of their potential that they're losing because they keep it's an inner battle with their self and they know that they can be better they know that they can do better they don't know how to stop and I feel like the devil card is like because like the strength card in reverse is literally the devil card you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But it's like. Low vibrational connectivity. It just hovers all over them. Like they just like attract trash. But they parlay in it. They enjoy it. Like honestly if it was. A good situation. A healthy loving honorable person they would be bored with it because it don't have the cheating beating using abusing loving hip-hop zeus network drama tied to it you know what i'm saying i just keep hearing they don't want to they don't want to see you happy without them There, it's like there's somebody that's curious to see how far this 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 goes. Like, is this person really? I don't know why I feel like somebody like literally is famous or very popular or it's just very loved. And like, if this person really continues to show love like this to this person, like, will they even want me around anymore? Because it's like, I'm not willing to change my ways. I'm not willing to grow up. I'm not. I just heard I'm, I'm institutionalized in my behavior. Like this person feels like they're in a self-proclaimed prison. Because they don't know how to change. They don't know how to be anything different. They don't know how to battle their own demons. And, and they don't want you to leave. As you continue to self-love and continue to, to, to vibrate and to continue to attract people more like you, they feel like they're going to be pushed to the wayside because they're more of an embarrassment. If any, like, come on, look at this. Like you, that one friend or that two. Anyway, let me just keep it moving. But this is like somebody that's in your close that's in close proximity to you that should really be loving on you but because of their lack of control in their self and really getting their self together they don't mean it and I honestly don't think because I really do think that they love you they really love you does this person love the collective It's, um, I want to say it's hard at times. They understand why God put you in their life because it's like you handle shit so well. It's like you, you, you take on things with stride by yourself. And it's like you have your, your weak moments, but you don't let nothing bother you. It's like you have this level of independence. It's like you're not going to let nothing stop you. You're not going to let nothing get in your way. If people don't want to help you, you do it by yourself, willingly. You don't care how far you got to go, how heavy the burden is, because God will send people to help me along my way. It's something about the faith that, that, that carries you through. Like this person don't have the same belief system as you. And it's another thing about you that you don't know how to let shit go. If something too hard for you, you would drop that shit in a second without any, a thought in your mind. You would drop them too. And they know it. If you become too much of a burden for me, I will get rid of you. 
Baby, you won't even realize. You ever heard um, someone say that they was cut and they, like someone stabbed them or, or sliced their face open and they kept on fighting. They didn't even realize that they were cut until their face started throbbing. They could feel their heart beating through their face or something. It's like you will cut somebody off so quick. They still making movements or still doing things to get at you, to try to hurt you. And they don't even realize that you have cut them off already. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like they still doing shit, trying to attack you. The whole time they bleeding out, about to fucking faint from loss of blood. And they still wasting energy, just throwing fists and throwing in. You about to die. <laughs> <laughs> You better waste, you better stop wasting your energy. You're bleeding. They can't feel it. That shit was so swift and so, with so much precision. And surgical. Like you surgically remove people out of your life. This shit is crazy. I'm take a shot to that. Who in the hell? Mm -mm. I didn't find who who is this that got this that done caught a case. Having this person in some type of legal situation, you guys, or well, this person legit has an STD now. Like they were just like, what is going on with this? What is the T? Give me information. Who who is this? This is too much. This is too much. Who caught a case? Give me one more card. Alright. It's a man. It's a man that ever caught a case or has some type of sexual STD problem. You, you see that ace of uh, hearts right there? That's a Casanova. Somebody that thought that they found some type of new love. <laughs> Girl! It's a, yeah, this is someone that was trying to move on thinking that they found some new love. Yeah, you found a new goddamn health encounter that's what you found that's what you found a new health encounter statement that's what you found so you guys if you just recently left somebody this person thought that they was doing something about moving on from you they was doing it without a condom or something like that somebody done got an STD and it wasn't me hello ha! baby Whoever this Casanova was, and you could, and this person could have been messing with someone from like a foreigner. It's like, <laughs> hello, okay, we are read all that. Thank you, God, for clarifying that. Somebody was messing with some exotical, hypnotical foreigner. I almost sent them to the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking with some hypnotic foreigner and almost sent them to the corner. Y'all better put them fucking condoms on and you better be thankful that you just got what you got. Jesus Christ. Jesus Louise. So whoever this person that was wasting your time Okay? If you want to waste your time, then waste your time with me. That's the dumbest song ever. I love it, though. Because it got a vibe. A reality. Open your eyes and see. I'll give you what you need. This ain't going to give you a fucking STD, bitch. You better not ever. You better not ever. Oh, ever, ever. Forever, ever. Forever, ever. Bitch, whatever this motherfucker got, they got a forever, ever. Forever, ever. Do you hear me? They gotta get annual checkups about this shit. So this shit right here is no job. Okay? And this is what this motherfucker get. Hmm. If you wanna waste your time, 
Don't waste your time with me. Y'all better stop these motherfucking situation ship type of thing. If it's a person that really is not trying to put their energy into you, that is not trying to explore the world with you, that is not really trying to see where they can take this, where things is going, stop fucking with these type of people because I promise you, I promise you, look, this person got caught a case, got a hurt ego now. I see why they got a hurt ego now because... They went out thinking that they was fucking with somebody that was better than you after you. You might have took some time to yourself. Child, I just, I can't. Now this person worrying about what you doing. You got cock blocking ass friends. This person obsessive. Your friend obsessive about you because they don't want you to go nowhere and be in a healthy relationship because they like to fuck with toxic ass motherfuckers and being toxic shit because it's more entertaining to them. And then you got some stupid ass motherfucker in your past that got what was coming to them. Like shit, what, what can I say? What more can I say? Do 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 do. All that I can say. Do 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 do. Okay. Child, let me give me guidance right here. Um, about this obsessive lover. Then we're gonna go right here and we're gonna, you know, find out some other things going on around in the streets. So. Let's explore. Let's get the toxic shit out the way. Tell me about this obsessive lover. What's going on? What's this obsessive lover? The Queen of Wands in the reverse. So this is a horror, the explorer. This is someone that uses their beauty and their beauty to do their duties. Do you understand? I'm saying bars, bitch. Y'all gonna stop playing with me. Y'all gonna stop playing with me. Understand? I'm a lyricist. Okay. Let me see. Y'all gonna stop. Y'all gonna stop. Listen to me. This is a horror to explore. Okay? <sighs> this is someone that, um... This is someone that could be angry with you about some man. Um... I feel like they're manic depressive about some idiot ass man. I don't know if you said something to them about the way that you feel about this individual or if they want to say something to you. I don't know if this is, um, hold on. Cause I'm getting, okay. Cause because I'm getting the queen of wands in the reverse. So this is someone that, on an outside appearance, she's very beautiful, but she's not that confident in herself as you would think she is. She used her sex and her sexuality to get by. Because that's all she has. She really has no talent because the Queen of Wands is a very skilled and talented person. Like, this girl could be known for all the wrong things. Like, her popularity besieges her. Is besieged a word? I don't even know. It sounds like it needs to be. But her reputation is not as good as you would think it is. Like people say, yeah, she pretty and she got some bomb ass head. But they don't talk about nothing else other than that. They talk about her sexual explorations. They don't talk about her mind. They don't talk about her talent ship. They don't talk about anything else. It's like this girl is a fucking cum bucket like a whore. So I don't know. This could be someone that has an attitude with you about this man. Because I'm telling you. There's a man right here that's obsessing about you. And they're hurt. They're hurt. 
Because you see how she got that um, crown on her head. She got her back turned to this person. This person was wasting her time and she kept it moving. Could you imagine being in love with someone that you see that's hurt and obsessed and in love with someone else? Wouldn't that make you hurt, uh, uh, hurt and angry at the person that they're in love with? That person feels like, I wish you would feel that way about me. I wish you would feel that way about me. But if that girl don't want this motherfucker, like, I just, ugh, ugh, ugh. Anyway. Or this could be this friend. I just heard just caught a case with somebody. This motherfucker just caught a case with somebody. I just heard reputation and territory. I just heard reputation and territory. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to keep it 100 because I keep looking over here. <clears throat> and this is about this man. I don't think this has shit to do with you. I don't think this has shit to do with you. Y'all, I'm sorry. I can take me a shot off of this one. Hold on, y'all, because y'all got me fucked up right now. Hold on. Because this don't got shit to do with you, y'all. I promise you this ain't got shit to do with you. Y'all, listen to me. Let me see who keep texting me. Think. I'm sorry, this is so unprofessional. Just want to make sure it ain't nothing serious. Anyway, this ain't got shit to do with you. Remember I told you that this man caught an STD from some bitch overseas? From some bitch overseas? This woman could possibly be thinking that this shit is linked back to you, but it's not. And now she knows it's not. She knows it's not. Because she can see for herself that you've moved on and you're exploring other territories and you're happy. And, and this person knows that you're not bringing this man. She knows that you, she knows. You understand? So this person is not with this one. With this one. You see the tennis spades there? This is the tennis page's recognition of ruin, of everything going wrong, having to start over. So someone could have ventured to a new territory, and like I, I just heard foreign and state. I feel like this is someone from a foreign country. This is someone not from your native land. This is someone that could have a visa or a green card or something like that. I feel like they could have came to this territory. With an STD card. Or with their being on a health registry or something like that. Like they could have came into this country already infected or something like that. And like they met this man. I feel like possibly in their country it may not be like a big deal. It's not like a death sentence or something like that. It's like something about, it's like something about this is casual. Yeah, it's not that big deal. Again, I feel like this is a foreign person. And they see this person is casting over. And he ain't saying nothing about putting on a condom. And this bitch ain't saying nothing about putting on no condom. We ain't putting on no condom. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> this woman, this obsessive lover, there might possibly, and, I, 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 and, and again, I ain't trying to speak nothing into no situation, but this bitch is mad. Because it's a possibility that this woman thought that this man, this man, was with you, but you over here with your new boo, okay? You over here not bothered, okay? Not pressed to impress. You want to go on, bitch, go on, okay? Baby, I'm unbothered. Remember, they're curious about you. Okay? They're idolizing you. Alright? And not for nothing, this Queen of Wands in reverse idolizes you too. 
because you're stronger than her as well. Like, you're just stronger than a whole lot of motherfuckers. That's all I can say. Do you understand what I'm saying? This Queen of Wands trying to figure out where the fuck this STD came from. And she ready to fuck somebody up. I mean, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. And I just feel like in general, like this person is very... I feel like catty. And like I said, shy. Like doesn't like to be around a lot of people. Like this very... This person is very beautiful, but is not as confident as you are. And something about you encroaching in this person's territory. That shattered this person's ego. And just the way that you're willing to step away and... and, and okay, now you want to go upright. I'll let you be upright. Why well, I feel like this woman is older. I don't know why I keep hearing older than you. Like older than you. That's what I keep hearing older than you. Okay, you could be over there. You could be over there, shit. Give me um a card. The wheel of verse a uh, little. The wheel of fortune in the reverse. I feel like for my collective people, I feel like you've had a long ride. Like you've had a lot of unfortunate events where I just feel like your life just felt like it was like going out of control. It was going like haywire and you feel like you've been having a lot of luck. I don't feel like you're really interested in anybody. That could be another thing that people could be saying about you. Like you're just exploring right now and you feel like you're having a bad luck. You're having a bad time in dating right now. Like, you just don't see anybody that um, fulfills your categories. You could be feeling like there's a whole bunch of people that's wasting your time right now. But you're idolized by many. Like, a lot of people, I feel like they respect you because you don't have any problems with saying, Look, it ain't shit out here. And I, look, I'll let these people take me out. I'll go and see the world with people. And again, remember, because I said something earlier about, and if this person acts stupid too, I would drop this motherfucker like a bag of hot fries as well. So it's like, just because you see this person, the collective going out with somebody, I feel like this is driving people on the outside crazy because they don't, they have no idea what's going on. You personally feel like you're having bad luck in love. Like, you ain't finding nobody that you really attracted to or have chemistry with or whatever, but people just see you being happy and enjoying yourself and that you're exploring. But it's driving these other motherfuckers crazy. It's driving your hating ass friends crazy because they see that you have people that genuinely fuck with you. And they're not trying to use you as a comeback or a paycheck. And you got somebody else over here that done caught a case, fucking with some foreign bitch, and got some other bitch. It seemed like, I, it this seemed like this, it's just a whole bunch, like, I'm confused. I don't know. But I, I, I it's something that, I, I don't know if the Queen of Wands in the reverse is the foreign bitch. I don't know. Cause no, I cause when I first seen when I first when it was giving me this, it was like no, this bitch is mad at this nigga because he been out in the streets, and she know about this, and she's like she's trying to figure out where the fuck it came from because this motherfucker been outside, and she know it, but she been too like the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands in the reverse is a horror to explore for two. Like she be cheating and he be cheating. Child, y'all not about to do me like y'all know me. You got the four of wands in the reverse. I 
feel like you could be like disinviting a whole bunch of people from your house right now. I feel like this person too, like you don't want nothing to do with them as well. Like we went out a few times, it was cool, but I don't feel any chemistry. This person don't even know where I live. Like nobody's invited to my home. No action going on in the house. No. And I feel like y'all standing on it. It's something about y'all meaning business. And if it's not what I'm really interested in right now, like, it's okay. I feel like there's something. I feel like you're having a speech at a party or something. It's okay. Be around people that you're celebrated. Be around people that you're celebrated by. They genuinely love you. Don't force no connections. Don't invite no people into your humble abode. They don't deserve to be there. It's something about your worth. And you being okay with where the circumstances is at. Listen, right now I'm just not having good luck. And I'm canceling. It's like you could be canceling plans with people that you were supposed to go out with. I just heard don't be posting me. Wow. You could be telling someone don't be posting you. It's something about you not wanting to be all out in the public with your shit. Because you don't mean it. it like it means something to me. Like it means something to me. I feel like you only want to publicly publicize your relationship when you're married. After you're married. After you're married. Give me guidance about what type of people is coming to the collective. What are these new people coming to the collective? Wasting your time. It's going to be some... Ugh, why I had to get the snake? So, collective, and again, like, don't feel no type of way about this coming out because, again, it's test, y'all. You're going to be tested before you get to the success because it's to see what you learn. Are you still going to be entertained? Are you still going to be manipulated? Are you still going to give in to... These type of people. I feel like there's going to be. Look it says the snake. Deception, jealousy, betrayal, backstab, toxic, silent treatment, seduction, sexuality. Counterproductive. Waste and right next to wasting time. People are snakes. And I feel like these are disease. Like these people are not healthy they're not healthy mind body and soul like these are like nasty scum buckets like not even low key like high key high key spirit tell me about uh tell me about the new people that's coming into the new positive people coming into the collective light. Tell me the word in the streets. Lily. You want me meeting someone that's older. Is well mature. Established. And just radiating grace. Radiating grace. I feel like you're going to start being more attracted to the salt and pepper. You know. People with the salt and pepper hair. Like that wisdom look. That older look. It's like more appealing to you. It says establish ambition. Experience. Sexuality. Achievement. Longevity. Mature career. Virtue. Development. Retired. Like yeah. You're going to be um, approached by someone way older than you. Way older than you. Way older than you. Give me physical features of this person that you're going to be meeting. 
but I'm trying to tell you before you meet this older person and it can be an air sign uh, um, Aquarius Gemini uh, what's the other air sign what is it Aquarius Gemini Libra oh my goodness child Libra but it Libra I be like Libra be so close to home I be feeling like Libra be like Scorpio <laughs> This person is going to have salt and pepper dreads. Could possibly have some Middle Eastern um, heritage or be Muslim. And then sometimes with a hair. And, okay, so... like this could be someone you know that has that that's in that middle stage of they have those braids that they're converting over the dreads mm -hmm. this could be someone that is Muslim as well <coughs> excuse me or because I can't see and you could wear braids a lot in your hair. Excuse me. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, let's get into the naughty tea. Let's find out. Look, we're going to get into We're going to get into that thing. Because we're here to hear the word on the streets. So we ain't going to keep it neat. We're going to make it messy today. Let's find out, number one, what are the dis sexual desires and intentions for the older person that's coming into your life to the new person that's coming into your life, the lilies? Excuse me. We're going to find out about the lilies. We're going to find out about the current person that you're exploring. And we're going to find out what the fuck this person wanted. Like, what the fuck do you want? Child shit. Tell me about the older individual. Sneak texting. Texting you around someone else. Oh, God. Digmatized. Dick so good has you in the days. And then Big Dick popped out right on top of that. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Then it's come to me. Calling you in. I want you to come to me. So I, even though I did say I want this energy. Maybe this, like, y'all let me know how this is resonating. Because this could be about this. This could be the person that you're exploring right now. I just don't know. Like, I literally don't know. And legit, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Like, I recently just cut off. It's just like cold turkey, like, abruptly stopped talking. Like, nah, like. I just, I did feel like, mm-mm, I don't want to talk to you, I ain't invite, like, the invitation has been revoked, because I felt like that person was sneak texting me, anytime a person only talks to you during work hours, or when they're in the car going somewhere, like, come on now. This could have been somebody that was trying to get you digmatized if you got that close to them. I don't feel like you have yet. At all. And normally, this shit don't resonate with me. But, 
I'm definitely fitting that in a scenario that just recently happened within the most recent month for me. Like, it was an older man, too. Like, sometimes you guys can think that because the person is older, that they have wisdom and maturity and shit. But these motherfuckers, it said established, exper experienced. Longevity, mature, developed, mature. So this could be someone that, if I'm asking these cards to clarify the lilies, and this came out, you could be talking to an older person that I feel is, is well established already. They could look Middle Eastern and kind of have this type of look. Well, like I said, be Muslim, don't eat pork, like just, you know. Mm -hmm. Just in case the lilies and the person, because God, I just feel like collective right now, like you're not meeting the right type of people. And I feel like there's people, you got current friends. And you got people from your past that are just mad at you. But the whole time, it's like, you ain't even currently really satisfied. Like, you just taking it day by day. But people are upset. And they low-key don't even have nothing to be upset about. But whatever. All right, let's give them something to talk about. Tell me about the current person that... Um, well, I just want to say Pisces. Um, tell me about the current person that the um, collective is exploring. What are their sexual desires and intentions? What is the current person that the collective is exploring? Per uh, current desires and intentions. Mm, I believe that. Sexually spooked. It's a sexually spent, tapped out. I'm going to have you tap the fuck out. And then it says, head in the clouds. You got me daydreaming about you. So this current person that you're talking to, I there is no open invitation. Because like I said, look, you see how that strong card came up in the reverse? Like you are very, very much so in control of yourself. Ain't giving in to no temptation and that shit. And, and people could be thinking that you fucking and you doing all this shit with these people. You ain't doing nothing but going out and enjoying yourself. These people are having daydreams about desires and things that they want to do with you that they can't do. Because they ain't proved themselves enough. You feel like they a kick in the bucket too. These people, this person that you're currently talking to, they want you to tap out. They know once they put that dick on you. Once they put that dick on you. Once they put that dick on you. Okay? We are reloaded. Once they put that dick on you, girl. Alright, listen. It's all the fuck over. It's all over. But I feel that this is... If this is that older man... Don't do it. What's... What is the T Y Y? Well, oh. it says drinking. This person from your past is drinking and drugging and thugging. Bitch, don't do her. Don't do her. I fucked around and caught feelings. This person from your past is fucked up right now. It didn't told you that this person was in their ego. They're in their ego like Steve-O. And they're fucking psychopath too. They stalking you as well. And they make other people jealous because they still hung up on you. And they done caught a case or done caught an STD with another motherfucker because they try. Chow. Mm -mm. What does it say? Random downloads. Out of the blue thoughts. Chow. I'm trying to tell you this motherfucker is a miserable. <laughs> this motherfucker is miserable. <laughs> Bitch, I am 
Dunzo. I wait. Why I feel like I kind of want to be a little bit more messy, y'all. I really, really do. I really, really do. But you know what? I'm gonna leave it here. If y'all want to get more into the tea yee -ye with me, yee -ye, y'all tap it with me, yee -ye. Y'all message me on Instagram. Message me at scorpionres at gmail.com if you want to book me for a personal reading. Because this is was a mess. This was a mess. But I see that you're blessed. Y'all, continue to stay in your strength. Like, you got a whole bunch of people mad at you. You legit do. You got weak ass bitches mad at you and pussy ass niggas. And he's ugh. it just listen. Anytime that you mess up with a man and he constantly throwing off your pH balance, girl. If you don't throw his ass back to the fucking streets, cause guess what? If it ain't you, it's gonna be someone. It's gonna be a little bit more than some pH balance that he throwing off. Okay, bitch, catch it. I am the fuck out of here. Y'all hit that like button. I love y'all. Love yourself. Ugh. The tea on the streets is bitch you like that. And motherfuckers is hating. I'm gone.